Hello, welcome to the 2014 European Artistic Gymnastics Championships Individual Apparatus Finals. We'll start with the Vault Final, Uneven Res Final, Balance Beam, and then Floor Exercise Finals for the women. The team final is very, very nice, a very great experience, and watching my thoughts were, I really thought Great Britain was going to be able to get a gold medal, but congratulations to Romania. Russia, what a surprising them in the third place position. Not every year is going to be their year, but wow. What a night. But now, it's all about the gym. It's all about the gymnasts this year. The, each individual gymnast, this competition. And last year there was no team final. This year there's no all around final. Every year there are apparatus finals. We'll start with the vault. The gymnasts have to perform two vaults. Run towards the station running towards the stationary object, the vault of the table. Wait for the marching and it's going to be an exciting final. You can see in the background the with the blonde hair, if you saw. That was Janine Berger from Germany. German Olympian who made the vault final in 2012. We're excited to see her back. And it's just been interesting to see. Who's come back, who's not. And there is a pleasant surprise, which I will tell you now. Anna Pavlova from Russia, you remember her from the 2008 Olympic Games, is back. And will be competing here tonight. We'll see if she's still got, she still got it, but spark that she had in 2008. Let's see where she is. Last year's vault champion, Julia Steingruber, is here to defend her title. Larissa Andriyadake, another vault medalist from last year's world or last year's European Championships, sorry, on vault, um, is here, hoping for a medal. She did a fantastic job on this piece of apparatus, and, you know, she just did a great job, just, all her performances so far, she's been solid, she's been consistent. She struggled a little with inconsistency in the past, but you know she's really she's really able to shake that off and come back swinging. You know, as far as apparatus finals go, you really can never know what to expect. And the final set, marching. It's quite an incredible lineup. The women fought. Ala Sotskaya in Russia. Junior Sandy from Switzerland. Naomi Macca from 
There's a limit to two athletes per nation in event finals. Um, it's going to be a great final. Very interesting. Full of lots of interesting. What I hope for, as always, is a clean competition where everybody hits and then we'll see where it all zags up. Now, I've been asked quite a few times, particularly last year, how does a scoring system work? Okay, so every quad, so every four years, there's a, um, the code of points changes. And our Soapsnet Sky is a the Russian Federation is going to start us off the ball. Now, there's a difficulty score. Each skill in gymnastics has a tariff. And on vault, as, for example, as you can see on that starting screen, that yellow number, 5.8, is difficulty value. Double twist in your chain goes, uh, large hop that, that'll be, that step will be three tenths deduction. And they take those three tenths off of the execution score, which is your perfect 10, or some slightly crossed legs, as you can see, and takes that 3 tenth large step back. We take that off of the perfect 10, then they'll add that 5.8 difficulty score onto it. And the difficulty score is different for the different balls. And so your Chinko double twist. They add those up, and then that gives you the score. The difficulty is what you gain, and you lose tenths off of the execution score. So you want to be as clean in the air as possible, have a good landing. 8.966 out of a 10 is her execution, 14.766 for her first vault. Now the second vault she has to do from a different vault family. It can't be another Yurchenko style vault, so it can't be a round off that handspring. It could be handspring, a round off, 
to foot a melody, and it looks like she's going for that, which is go half on, half off in a layout position. Drifts off to the side, and he has, just kind of bounces back. And it's, I'm not sure if that's going to metal, but she's happy with it. She's new to She's a bit, she's one of the newer faces of Russia. You see, she's not on that center line. You want to remain on that center line when you land. But when you're doing so many twists, it's very hard to go out of bounds. Now, if you see in the penalty section of the scoring, um, if they took a tenth or something off, that means she's gone out of bounds. It looks like she just held on to it. There's Anna Pavlova, a former Russian gymnast, talking with some um, the Russian coaches and Ala Sensitskaya, which I and they took three tenths off, which means she did hop out with both feet. Eight point eight three three in execution. So next we move to Julia Steingruber. Of Switzerland. Now the USA kind of dominates vaulting. They want, had quite a few champions on the vault, but she can make a slam. She was almost got that bronze medal last year, and that was beautiful. She should be the vault. Hands can on, they out will be off. Six point two difficulty, and she is just phenomenal on vaults. Hands on one and a half twists up little bit loose as far as form goes. Little leg split under the table and just small leg form throughout and stumbled on the landing, trying not to be too critical here. But, you know, she's really... I mean, excuse the couple tenths. She can really... Um, she just really has a good shot of winning this thing. She can medal, she can win, she can, she can do it all. 6.2 difficulty, 9 in execution, very high score. 15.2 for her first vault. Now second vault, she's capable of up to a 5.8 in start value. I've seen her do many vaults. I've seen seen her do Sukahara style vaults. Most recently, however, and it looks like she's going for that 5.8 return for double twist. <coughs> Phenomenal. She is just stellar vaulter. A stud in the world of gymnastics. And that was incredible. So she does round off back handspring onto the table, double twist off again, a little bit of leg form. She hooks her toes instead of pointing them. And there's a small hop on the landing, but other than that, I'd say there's a, you could call that a hop or you could call that a stick. I'd say it's pretty much a stick. Her feet really didn't leave the mat. She plants her feet on the ground, gets her chest high enough, no, and she just has the some incredible vaults. And she only goes for that full twist, 9.133, 14.133. Puts her in rank one in a gold medal position. I didn't even notice that she only did a full twist. But still, she's in first. She knew she didn't need much. And Naomi Makra of Hungary, she doesn't have the highest level of difficulty. Five in set value for her first vault. Though she has trained a 5.3 vault. I believe she'll be going for your Trinko full twist. Oh! Sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm just so used to, used to all these Yurchenkos in the finals that I forgot she doesn't go for Yurchenkos much. That was a handspring forward on 